My first two loves, chapter 70, all downhill from here. I like this entire book. The next morning, against all odds, I realized I was actually enjoying the mountain vacay. Mason and Noah were managing to be civil, sleeping next to Ava had made me feel warm inside. I'd gone to bed with my heart in turmoil, but for the first time in a while, I woke up feeling at peace. Eventually, I would have to choose, but for this moment, with all of us together, I could just be. Would you look at this place? We got up early to venture out into the mountains as the sun rose, millions of fallen snowflakes dazzled and glistened in the line. It's beautiful. You didn't, uh, think I put up with my dad for a week for nothing, did you? The views are the best part of coming out here. Must be nice, the only views from my house is Mr. Brooks' daily hot yoga in the buff. As we hiked to the base of the summit to get on the ski lift, mountain goers passed us on the machines, boards, and skis, all at varying speeds. Those guys go any faster, and they'll be ready to, for takeoff. It's crazy, right? Those snowmobiles have to be going at least 100 miles per hour. Chump speeds, why come down this mountain at all if it's not going to be like a bat out of hell? If you ask me, the snowboarders are the ones who have it all figured out. Please, the skiers are definition of high speed, low drag. This seems easy enough to figure out who rules the heels. Let's make it a race. Whoever makes it to the bottom first takes the crown. Count me out. Those speeds sound like an accident, accidental facelift waiting to happen. Fine. You can stay here and judge. Anyone else? I'm in. But if my math is right, that leaves you as the odd girl out. Or you could be on my team. Wait a minute. I've known her longer, and I've basically got lifelong dibs at this point. I think we've uh, forgotten Emma's a person with her own agency. She can choose any time team she wants. Oh, look at Noah. Says the new guy with the weakest claim. What? Hmm, well, I'm in a relationship with him. He has actually the strongest claim. I rolled my eyes as they bickered back and forth until finally we came to the bottom of the ski lift. And a line, Emma. Who's it gonna be? I gave them a look. Weakest claim my ass. Grab a board. For setting my sights on Noah. When it comes to going fast, you seem like the guy for the job. Hmm, can't argue with that logic. Time to burn the mountain down. Good luck with that. I'll uh, wait right here for the photo finish. Together, Noah and I each strapped on a board and hopped on to the next available lift chair. As we climbed higher and higher, Noah reached behind us for the safety bar. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this down. Trust me, this is one of the rides you uh, definitely want to keep your hands and feet in at all times. It sounds like you speak from experience. Noah rubbed the back of his head sheepishly. Before I went away, Elijah and I used to ski, skip school, to bum around the ski lodges for cash. I don't anymore, and it doesn't exactly paint me in the best light, but it's the truth. I can appreciate the honesty. Besides, I bet it makes a great story. For Sam Dine here, whichever one informed your opinion on ski lift safety. Elijah and I were already halfway up the mountain when he bet all me all of his money in his pocket. I wouldn't drop in from midair. Long story short, I took the most intense ride of my life for a buck seventy-five. I peered over the edge and then slowly shifted my weight forward to grab the bar for a better view. The chair pitched forward, but Noah was quicker. Don't worry, I got you. Slowly, something came over me and I released the bar with both hands, leaning as far forward as I dared. You're making a dear devil out of me. Mm, good. Life's too short to spend every second of it wisely. I leaned back into him and Noah pulled me in closer as the chair started its downward slope. Alright, when I raise the bar, sit sideways. Lean towards the nose of the board to clear a path for the next riders. Bar, sideways, lean. Got it. The second the ground reappeared under our feet, Noah lifted the bar. You better put these on, just in case you eat snow. Goggles. It looks like a VR headset. I'm just literally saying, whoever took a picture of this is a dummy. 
We hopped off the lift and flew down the mountainside, boarding circles around each other and spraying a snow left and right. Looks like I'm a natural. But as a little kid toddled happily into my path, I realized there was one other lesson I should have asked for. Uh, Noah? A little help? Press your heels into the snow, but don't flex your feet too much. Carefully, I lifted my toes and slowed to a stop right in front of the clueless kid. Noah slid in beside me and pressed. Looks like you're, uh, you'll make a, I'll make a Betty out of you yet. The hell's a Betty? Betty White, maybe? In no time, Noah had taught me all the basics, drilling them in until I didn't uh, look like a total newbie. Nearby, Mason and Ava edged up to the slope. Huh, edged. You three ready to eat powder yet? Who knew third place could be so confident? Noah and I skidded to a stop at the starting line. He cautiously reached out to steady me, then shot me a cocky wink. Let's take first place and end this little debate. On your mark, get set, go. See you at the bottom! Only if I'm looking back. We surged away from the starting line and immediately started a downward descent. Woohoo! When I looked up, Noah was chuckling as he kept pace besides me. Looks like you're the real thrill seeker, but don't forget to keep an eye out for obstacles. And remember what I taught you. If all else fails, I'm right behind you. I nodded and turned back to the path in front of me, just in time to see a giant tree in my path! Flex my feet. Swerve. Wanna go with flex my feet? I dug my heels into the ground, forgetting not to flex my feet, my arms windmilled backward until Noah caught me, setting me up all right again. Thanks for the assist. Don't mention him. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see the others were gaining on us. Lose focus, lean forward. As I bent my knees for balance and shifted my weight to the front of the board, Noah appeared next to me, his movements effortless. Top speed looks good on you. Right back at you. Before we could reach Mac, both of the other Zoom passes, leaving us in a spray of ice powder. As we crossed the finish line, I threw up my hands. So that didn't go as expected. Anyone want a rematch? Please? Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind taking another crack at it. What do you say to judging a second race, Mac? As long as I get to stay on my own two legs, go nuts. I'm in. What do you think, Ava? Ready for another go? I wheel around to look at her. Her face was practically buried in her phone. I didn't need to see the screen to know it was Bela. Without the uh, usual smile on her face, I could tell something wasn't right. Ava? Hmm? Oh, you guys go ahead. Bela and I, we've got some things to discuss. Her eyes lingered on me, and I felt like there was only one thing Bela wanted to hash out, and Ava didn't seem too excited. Really? We're gonna talk about it? Hmm. Maybe a fresh perspective could help. A higher perspective goes well with hot cocoa, and her just standing out here in the cold, I really could use a cup. What the hell? A little girl talk might be what I just need. Well, then I'll see you ladies back in the cabin. While the guys headed for the lift, I detached my board, and then Mac, Ava, and I went off to search of chocolatey goodness. When we found the cafe, the place was bustling with customers recounting their days on the slopes, all eager to satisfy their sweet tooth. I'll take coffee instead of a hot chocolate. After placing an order at the counter, we slipped in the last nearby table. Appreciate the solidarity, ladies. Hey, sometimes a strategic session is just what the doctor ordered. Speaking of doctors, maybe we don't tell Dad about the sugary monstrosity I just ordered. I do not need another lecture about feeding my good gut bacteria. Deal. So, what's going on with you and Bela? You two were cute at Winter Wonderland. Ava sank back in her chair with a sigh. Bay's a little jealous I came on this trip. She thinks it was an excuse to for me to get away from prying eyes and mess around. Ew, talk about controlling. Seriously? I know you and Mason have history, but I thought it was basically dead and buried like Pompeii. Oh god, no. She thinks Mason and I burned that bridge. She's worried about someone else. Reflexively, Ava's uh, gay started over me, and before I could help myself, I, we'd lock eyes. Mac looked back and forth between the two of us, open mouth. Listen, Mac, yes, I get I get all the, the pudding cups. Mmm, chocolate pudding cups. What? So, Bela thinks there's someone else. 
Well, that's just crazy. You're always on the phone with her or out on dates. Everybody in a 10 mile radius can see how happy you are. Uh, yeah, I mean, mostly. On one hand, Bela is everything I've ever wanted in a partner. She's fun, funny, and not afraid to love me out loud. On the other, I just can't shake the feeling that something's missing. I wanted to scream to the heavens, me, I'm what's missing. Literally, we didn't even know we existed until like two weeks ago, but I digress. But even as I felt it, guilt, guilt crept hip. If anything, it was my indecisiveness that led to her dating Bailey in the first place. It was time to put my feelings aside and focus on Ava, which meant asking the hard questions like... Have you told her any of this? No, but only because Bay's my first girlfriend. I just figured a little jealousy was part of the territory, like I was with Mason. Uh, I haven't dated at all, but something tells me that's not quite right. No, a little jealousy is good, but not at the start of your relationship. Well, they don't exactly make a being gay for dummies. How am I supposed to know? You, you treat it like a normal relationship. Your, your orientation has nothing to do with how you would treat your mate. Holy sweet Jesus Christ, Pixelberry, really? Ava propped her elbows up on the table and buried her face in her hands. Seeing her so stressed tugged in my heart. Partially because I hated to see her hurting, but also because it was clear as day. She had feelings for Bela, and it hurt a lot. Still, I forced it down and dug deep. It sounds like Bela can already sense that something is off between you two. Uh, the best thing to do now is... Tell her how you're feeling. You're not in a relationship alone, and Bela is not a mind reader. She deserves to know how you feel, so the two of you can work through it together. I know, but I don't want to hurt her. Ah, oh, yes, the old I don't want to hurt her excuse, yeah. I can promise you, the truth is ten times better than whatever she's imagining in her head. I hate to say it, but Emma's right. And if Bela can't accept what you have to say, then maybe you two should reevaluate things. Or Ava could respond, a barista at the counter called her out over the dull roar of the cafe. Order up! I got drinks for Emma, Ava, and Madeline. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's Mackenzie! As she shot out of her chair, I turned to a face of chuckling Ava. I thought that might put a face, a smile on your face. You did that. I would say you're evil, but you're being a total saint right now. I know this is probably weird for you, helping me and all. Her eyes sunk to the sticky tabletop, the opening and closing door, anywhere but at me, as she fiddled with a stray sugar packet. Steady her hand. I covered her hand with my own, and the feel of her soft, warm skin against mine was enough to make me melt from the inside out. Her next breath was shaky and uneven, her chest rising and falling at a quickened rate. A little, but I'd do anything for you. Ava settled into my grasp, and in one moment, we understood each other better than we ever, anyone else ever could have. Ever. Alright, so I got one. Oh. Max sudden returned to the table, sent us each scrambling for our own space, and we jumped apart. Shaken, I held my hand out for my drink. Perfect timing. I told you, Mac, we get all the pudding cups, okay? When we got back to the cabin, we shared the extra layers and set for uh, making plans for the rest of the day. Jennings, does the fancy TV downstairs get the sports channel? I think the game's on. You spend all your semester on the field. Don't you two get sick of football? Never. If we're going to the man cave, I need to hit the kitchen first. I'm starving. Wait a minute, man cave? Don't tell me there's even more to this place. As we chattered back and forth, Mrs. Jennings round in the corner. She brightened at the sight of all of us getting along. Oh, it sounds like you kids have big plans. Uh, just a day of couch surfing. If we're uh, feeling really adventurous, I might run down to the basement and look for my gaming system. Ooh, do you have extra controllers? I could totally own you in Smash. Bring it, and I'll use Minecraft Steve. Let's go, fam. 
As the five of us coordinated, Miss Jennings' face blanked, and she looked genuinely worried. And then... Actually, the basement's off-limits. We just had it fumigated. Don't uh, want all those chemicals in your lungs. But with the big holiday dinner tomorrow, there's not much time for games anyway. There's still so much to do. We're happy to do what we uh, can to help you set up. It's funny you should say that. Schiffer does her best work alone, so if you can all just clear out for the day, that'd be great. Nothing crazy, let's say 12 hours. 12 hours? What are we supposed to do all day? She turned and fixed me with a smile that never quite reached her eyes. Lucky for you, I hear it's going to be a beautiful day for a hike. What, what the hell are you people planning? Why do I feel like it has something to do with the principal's confession and what Elijah and Noah know about him? Something like that. Without further ado, thank you all for uh, watching. Please remember that if you did enjoy the content, to like and share the video or channel. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's a great way to become a part of this community and, you know, just show that you enjoy the content. And then also the fact that you want more content to come. And hit the bell as well. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Peace. Also a big announcement soon on the channel. Bye.